Ayo, I'm Andy, and welcome back to Knockmer, where Firm Kerr meets Abandoned City Kerr. So today I am standing outside of Ike's house and his beautiful radio tower because we are going to be doing his interior. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we are in Ike's house. No, <laughs> this is Ike's original house, and it's pretty close to what I was thinking when I was making Ike's story. Well, I think that is always and the story kind of go hand in hand. So there are a couple things that I might want to get rid of. And I kind of want to redo the walls first. I want to get the corrugated metal in. I want that to be the main wall. I'm not too sure what a peg wall. Kind of like the idea of a peg wall. And I like the steel florin too. I think it it's very industrial. It's very radio tower to me. He's got two workstations. Probably only one for Ike, I suppose. All right, I do like the cot and I'm going to get rid of the windows. We don't need any windows. I'm going to make the front there stone. Okay, get this back there. Can I change it? I can, but do I want to? Not really. <laughs> All right, let's get this stuff somewhere there and change this Kurt to something. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so Ike lives up here in his radio tower all by himself. That's because he has lost his family to the war. I'm thinking, I know it's like rusted corrugated wool, but I feel like it's too bright. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, so Ike has lost his family full and he spends most of, if not all his time, looking for his lost son. Now we know that his wife and daughter have been lost during the war, but there has been absolutely no evidence that his son is gone. So Ike's motivation, I suppose, continue existing or being around is the fact that maybe his son is somewhere out there and he spends tireless days and nights looking for his son and by looking for his son I mean he is using the radio tower that he set up on the exterior of his house to contact whoever he can. He's constantly sending out messages, making sure that he doesn't miss a day, and he's constantly getting records of every time he's called out, any responses he's ever gotten. He just keeps all of that going to basically find his son. Well, I'm trying to make um a little work area I'm thinking probably we're gonna move his workbench and turn this area into a radio area oh no I don't know maybe it goes that way uh I'm gonna get that in there maybe change the wood on this okay I think this is gonna work stick it in on that side get his tools yeah, so this entire room or this entire house is just dedicated to finding his lost son. Okay, I think I'm gonna rearrange this just a little bit. Get that over there and in like so. Mm, yeah, I'm not loving that Kurt. Maybe something like this. Make that black thought over. I'm gonna get a different workbench, I think. Yeah, the this one that he had prefer, I think, will work out. Get some shelving in. Just kind of like very bunker feeling. Maybe he's got a TV just in case he gets something on the radio. And by radio, I definitely mean on the TV broadcast system. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so that's his workstation. I'm gonna be blocking this off with my records. Yeah. Well, he just like pulls that out if 
he wants to work on some more things and then get um a place to sit maybe eat Aurier. i think that works all turn that over bring it to the front yeah no i definitely want to have like quite a few radios in here that he's you know listening to maybe he's got things that he's fixing stuff up with like these wires kind of like the red and black one they look a little bit more realistic not too sure what the songbird no we have the songbird outside but yeah maybe he's uh listening to the songbird and of course we're gonna need to get him a little bit of food maybe he's eating some fish oh, that he uh fished up eh maybe i think i'm gonna put the songbird up on this side just maybe a spare i really do like this pumpkin thing it it just seems so <laughs> post-apocalyptic i'm gonna get rid of that fish i want to try kerp on a cutting bird maybe the red one yeah and can fish and chilies okay so he's taking care of himself <laughs> just a little bit not totally but he's got it going on right he knows that he's got to eat some stuff he's got to survive I would like some beer bottles in this build as well. Sometimes Ike takes to the bottle to deal with those stresses. We wish that he would not. He does. I want to get these notes in here. Just records upon records. Every time he finds something or if he feels like He's getting close on a lead. Uh, the homework set? I think the homework set kind of works. Yeah, I don't mind that. Er, document stock. I kind of like the one with like all the red in it. Or we could put that up there. Yeah, those are like old records. What's this office box that I kind of like as well? It's just, it's just it's absolutely consumed his entire life. And that's really what I'm going for old newspapers we got a couple of old newspapers outside of this build but i wouldn't mind it inside the build either i think the chair is too dark what a what green yeah i think green does something and i want uh ike does this come in green it does but it's like not there oh actually that yeah this seems like a lot it does look like He's just in here, consumed, looking through papers, doing the bare minimum when it comes to taking care of himself. I didn't get some scrap paper as well. Notes wrote the time and kind of just left on the floor. Er, I think I'm going to change this. There we go. Kind of like that. Just like a bunch of notes all the time. Let's get some carpet. I don't know what this... Yeah, I like... Actually, I like the floor. I, I don't know why. <laughs> Never mind. Let's get some stuff. Shanty mat. The shanty mat kind of works, but I think... Yeah, I don't think Ike would go for that. Maybe a shaggy rug? Looks very denish, like a, like a living room den. So maybe not. I think I want to find something like rusty oh and by rusty i mean something that looks like maybe his wife would pick out but it got turn over time and i think that that what i just picked out there does that and then i want to change the texture just on this way not there just yeah like that give a little bit more dimension to the build yeah i like it all right no, what to the wall? Oh, we got a breaker in here. <laughs> that, that's fine. We'll put it right there. Get some construction stuff in and around. Definitely a world map. Maybe kind of peeking out there. He doesn't need it anywhere. He's got the world pretty much down pat. Oh, this bulletin bird. Maybe those were like drawings from his children. We got this bird here. Maybe... This was, what do you call it? A vision bird? I think it's called a vision bird. Yeah, move these keys over there. Yeah, a vision bird that his wife maybe made. And we're gonna stick it down there because maybe it's a bit painful for him 
to look at. Let's try and see if different color will work all blue. I think blue works a bit better. Check out this stuff. What is this? Oh, maps and stirs. Maybe he's working on aligning his uh, satellites better. I think satellites work with space. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I could be wrong. I've been wrong with more. I've been wrong with lesser things. I mean, put that there. Get some AC units in. Oh, what's that? Ew. Okay. Black, maybe? Yeah. It just adds different texture to the wall. There we go. Get the switchbird or the fan or there. I'll earn wool lamp right in front of his work area. I think that works. I'm not too sure what the top of the walls I mean. We we do got their photos. Okay. I think I got an idea. So Megan is Ike's late wife. I think I'm gonna get silver because it looks a little bit more rusted. And Olive is as late daughter. So maybe it's got their photos on the wall there. So when he's eating lunch or dinner, he can eat with them in spirit, I mean. No, Ike's son, his name is Poco, but uh, there's no photo of Poco in the game. So I'm going to choose Poncho because he's like a little bear cub and I feel like, you know, Poncho would uh, be Megan and Ike's son. I think that they would do well for that. I was thinking Teddy, but I think I want a bear cub, you know? No, we got this urt. I'm not, maybe these are just articles on the wall that he's keeping for research. I would like a few spider webs in here, but I think that Ike keeps as always like pretty clean, as clean as it gets for, you know, a slightly depressed bear. And by slightly, I mean very, very much so depressed. I'm gonna get some light switches in and around pretty much everywhere. No, whether or not these light switches actually work, I I do not know. I think they should. Maybe they would, wouldn't they? It's gonna be accessible. Me right there. There we go. I think that looks all right. I I mean, it makes me sad. Or maybe a radiator in here. Oh no, many radiators. I don't know nothing about radiators. I'm not too I'm not too too sure. Could get an antique telephone. He's just, you know, trying all his options. Maybe he tried the antique telephone at one point. I think I'm going to take the breaker, put it above his bed telephone there. Let's see. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Well, let's get some cookware. I think this is just going to be like survival decorative. Yeah, like y'all's the survival equipment, you know, maybe some knives as well. I don't think you'd go too far to decorate. I think everything is just supposed to be convenient. So I like that. Let's go to the ceiling. We got these. Is this is this something that we want? I don't think so. Uh, maybe just to fill in space. This is just like an old radio tower, right? So there's just, you know, old equipment in here from back then. And again, I just want it to look like He's got a lot of stuff. He knows what he's doing. He's just collecting things for survival. Maybe a light bulb. We'll get one in this area. And maybe one just or there. And I'm still not 100% on this wallpaper. Bank vault? No. Industrial? Maybe. Retro? What's this? New. Brick? Do you got... Oh, that's too shiny. What about wood? No. Bam. Boo. That's busy. Very busy. Perforated everywhere else. It just makes it a bit brighter in here. Gives it more of a tone. I don't know if we want a tone. Oh, this. That kind of dulls it down a bit. I kind of like this. I mean, y'all, you know, it's supposed to be like gray and, and sad, but I don't think he chose the walls. You know what I mean? Can I get in there? Yeah. Well, not that, not that they use their bed or anything. Turn the TV on. Photo of Poncho. Favorite saying. Fortune favors the brave. That's cute. I think I think this is I think this is good. 
He's got his loved ones. He can sit here and work, listen to radio recording stuff, some supplies, some records. I'm assuming that storage shed just has like loads of records. He gets frustrated. He got like scattered papers all over, equipment, and he'll come in here and have a nice dinner with his wife and daughter. I think that's. I think that's all right. I don't even want to bring him in here because it's gonna make me upset. Or <laughs> he is dull. Maybe we'll get him there. Yeah, right there is all right. But Tom, you're not even allowed. Get out of here. Like, no one even. No. Like, no. Okay. Like, oh, I can't look at a little poopy face. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. So, you know, he's got his little dinner. He's got his supplies. This is basically just an extension on the outside. I think it's all right. I think it, I think it tells the story and stays true to the full aesthetic. And, uh, yeah. And I can't, I can't look at it. Look at his face. Oh, okay. I don't know what's sadder is seeing his back. Oh no. Okay. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. And if you found yourself enjoying the video, feel free to follow the channel and like the video to show your support. I will see you in the next one. If the next episode is up, it'll be on screen right now for you. I will see you then. Cheers. Are you going to be okay, Ike? You're a lovely family, but I love you, buddy. I love you.